Over the past years, I've been building this channel. I've been able to have a lot of great conversations with you all on Twitter and Instagram, and even right here on YouTube in the comments section. And the one question that I get very often from people is, how do you afford all the gear you have? And it's usually in context of like asking like, is this piece of gear working or is this worth it? Uh, should I buy this piece of gear? And that makes sense. A full frame camera is going to cost you thousands of dollars. Full frame like flagship glass is going to cost you thousands of dollars. The cards, the filters, the batteries, all the accessories are gonna cost you thousands of dollars. And then on top of that, to get a computer that can actually edit any of that stuff, put together any of that footage, we're talking thousands of dollars again. So like right there, it's like, that's already five figure territory. Uh, you know, six figures if you're counting in pesos. <laughs> but over the last year, I've been able to build a kit that makes sense for me using three ideas that I'm gonna share with you all here today. I think the first thing that really helped me get started was the fact that I wasn't going it alone. Don't go it alone. Uh, if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel, doing photography professionally, uh, it's important to have other people surrounding you that have already been doing this for a while. For instance, the person who helped me the most was my wife. She had already been shooting and doing a lot of creative work, marketing work um, with small nonprofits, but also doing some big brand work for companies like Hotel Tonight and Airbnb. She started out on an APS-C camera. I watched her then grow from that to a Canon 5D that she was using in her workplace. Fast forward to her getting the EOS R when that came out, I think three years ago now. Last year, I kind of just said, hey, any day that you're not using this camera, can I use it? And that's actually how I started. I think the first three or four months on this channel was shooting videos on the EOS R, doing photography with the EOS R, did a couple brand gigs and things, small stuff with the EOS R, and that's what gave me the confidence to say, all right, I'm gonna go pick up the R5 and then start sort of my own journey now that I've had access access to some of this gear. You know, I feel comfortable with it, I feel confident with it. And I will point out, I already knew the basics of photography and videography through shooting on mobile for years. If you guys go way back to when I first started this channel, before I actually really started building it over the last year, I was really interested in doing mobile photography reviews. I reviewed the original moment lens and I had been shooting manual and really understanding like frame rates and focal lengths and exposure with ISO and all this other stuff. Um, I got that on mobile. So already I was coming into the full frame game really with all the concepts there and just needing to use the tool to sort of bring to life what I already knew from having that foundation of all the basics. If you don't have the basics, like if you have not already got down frame rate and exposure and, and doing all that manually on your phone, like stop watching this video and go get the most out of your phone. I have plenty of other videos, I'll link them down below, talking about what I've been able to get out of my phones in the past few years. Um, that's I think really the place to start. This is more about turning that from a maybe like a prosumer. I hate that term actually. <laughs> I don't like that term, I should say. But going from someone who maybe knows all the technical things can maybe land some gigs with just your phone. It, it's happened, I've seen it, done it, and use that to build into something like this. And that leads into my next point, which is build as you grow. Now, with the R5 in hand, I got this the first week of December, so I've had it for a year now. I was able to land more clients, make more YouTube videos, have that make me some more money, and that's what's allowed me to continue to grow this kit, buy more lenses. I already had access to some lenses because of my wife already shooting on the RF platform, so we already had some gear there. It was also very easy then to go, hey, do we need this lens for both of our kits? So we're kind of both growing together. And I think this also plays in with if you are not going it alone, if you're working working with other creatives in your community, there are lenses that I still have not purchased because I have friends that live here in the, the place in the Northwest that I live that have lenses that I may normally buy but I know I can borrow from friends and I lend them my lenses and we all kind of help each other out. So building as you grow doesn't have to just be buying more gear. It can also be building relationships and friendships where you help people out, they help you out. Because this stuff is expensive, like a, a high-end lens is gonna run you thousands of dollars. And kind of thank God it's, it's expensive because to try to, I think, take all this on at once would be a lot of work. I probably spend at least a week shooting exclusively on a lens before I feel comfortable enough to really start using it professionally. And even then I would say it still takes a few more weeks so I really feel like I have that lens dialed in to kind of my workflow where I'm not even looking at it, I'm just sort of feeling out, you know, yeah, this is what I'm gonna adjust here to make the, 
to make the shots that I want to make. Uh, and then for a bo body, forget it. Like it took me probably six months to really feel like I had got the R5 down in a way that I didn't even need to look. I understood all the features from interval timers, setting log, uh, color profiles, all of that stuff to where I don't even need to look. I know what I need to do and I can just sort of execute with the camera. I mean, that takes months of consistent work. So it's not a bad thing that it takes you time to build as you grow. You're gonna wanna have that focus on that new thing for weeks if not months to make sure that you're building, you know, just building out your kit responsibly. And then the final thing that I think really helped me kickstart this channel was renting gear. I rented gear for that 28 to 70 versus 24 to 70 video. I've rented lenses, I think the 50, the RF 50 millimeter. Uh, I rented that last year, ended up getting it this year. But that's like that long lead time where you think, okay, I'm gonna rent this. See, yes, I can use this. Maybe not right now, but maybe sometime in the future. Maybe you rent a piece of gear, whether it's a lens or a camera for a specific job where you can go, okay, this thing is going to pay for at least the rental itself by getting into this project. Uh, maybe that project makes you enough money or maybe that video makes you enough money on YouTube where they can go, all right, if I wanna continue using this, I can buy it, that's pretty cool. That, that should not have gone to sleep. Maybe that YouTube video does well enough that you're able to buy that lens or that camera body and continue making more content. This past week, I rented this R5 body. I'm shooting on my R5 body, but I rented a second one for this road trip that I did because I wanted to see what it would be like uh, doing more BTS photography stuff and having to do that by myself when I don't have someone like my wife or one of my friends who are able to help me do that. Uh, spoiler alert, it was a lot more work to set up a tripod, set up a second cam, get that angle all worked out, and then go over and shoot the actual shot I wanted to, and then break that whole set down and move. But it was really good. I'm glad I got that experience because that's one of the things that I want to do more of come in 2022, which we are getting so close to. It's crazy to think it's already December. And this video isn't sponsored, but I use lens rentals now for uh, most of my rental stuff. I use lens rentals to rent this R5. I rented some other lenses uh, in the past couple of months and they've just been great. Again, not sponsored, but I figured I would let you guys know what I'm using. So you can go check that out if you want. I'll put a link in the description below because I think it is really helpful to see, hey, do I actually need this piece of gear for this idea or this project that I have and come to maybe find out, hey, I, I don't need to do this or maybe I don't enjoy this type of work that way I thought I would. Uh, maybe you realize, okay, hey, I rented this for a week and I really need probably three weeks with it to really feel comfortable and confident using this tool professionally. Whatever it may be, I think renting gear can help you punch above your weight, so to speak. Uh, if you can't afford a full professional glass kit or even like a high end camera, if you know you have a project where you think, okay, I want to shoot this with this particular tool because I want this particular look or quality, renting gear can help you get access to things that maybe you wouldn't otherwise get access to. This was the number one thing that I tell people when I get asked, is this lens worth it or is this body worth it? You know, what are the pros and cons? I usually end up telling people like rent it. You know, you can read all the specs. You can listen to me talk about it here on YouTube. I think all that stuff is helpful. But before you make that purchase decision, if you're still on the fence, rent that piece of gear and then figure out if that's really what you want to do. Live with it for a little bit and see, you know, hey, does this make sense for my business, for the, for the creativity that I want to be doing? And then you, know, you can decide if you want to pull the trigger and you know go from there. And maybe you can even then make a piece of content that'll help you afford to purchase that thing that you want uh, to add to your kit. So keep those three things in mind. Don't go it alone. Build as you grow. And when you uh, when you need it, if you don't have it, you can also rent it. Think about that as an option. So I hope this helps all of you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stephen Foster. Subscribe to this channel if you have yet to. And I'm so honored and grateful for all of you who already have. It's been a fun year. I, I'm really digging and enjoying just making videos here. And um, I look forward to making even more with all of you. Be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. It really does help me grow this channel and make it something that I can do more of. I'm planning a ton more content for 2022. I'm really excited to share with you guys more of that here in the next few weeks. Uh, I think y'all will hopefully dig it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting stoked already making it, so that'll be fun. And we'll do it again soon. Later.